And we're back in the toss and burn kitchen with my cousin Nandingo. Nan Fernandez, aka the Spanish AKA. lover. <laughs> Not the Spanish lover. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And his and his friend Tiffany. A bit of the Spanish fly. So y'all best friends? Oh, oh you can say that. Something like something that. Something like that. Until she get on my nerves. He gets on my nerves all the time. So wow. You know. She's Today a he's actually she's pretty a good. Button pusher. Considering the fact that he picks and chooses when he invites me to things. Absolutely. I'm going to keep throwing that out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick yeah. out. Hey, I'm going to grab you the steak. Good, bro, I'm going to sit it over here. I got roasted vegetables need to come out. Mm. We're about to plate this thing up. Ooh. Oh. What I'm going to do. Yeah. Oh, they turned out nice. Yep. I'm going to put them in a bowl. Mm. I'm going to finish those with a little lime juice in a second. Mm. Okay. That look good. So, the entree, a recipe actually includes a mashed potato. Okay. Right? But I'm gonna make a wasabi mashed potato. Mm. Also like patties. Be like exactly. Patties. I'm gonna make little cakes out of it. Okay. So, I have some wasabi dressing that I love. It's store-bought, but okay. it's really, really good. Right. Um, so, oh, a little bit- wasabi on sushi. Most of the time, so. Well, it has the taste, same, it's, the wasabi is in the dressing. Yeah. Yeah, so I can see sushi, eating sushi with this also. Yeah. Okay. As a dipping sauce. Gotcha. Um, so I have the wasabi dressing, a little almond milk, some ginger powder. I'm not going to use a lot of that. Mm. Some salt, pepper. Okay. I'm going to put a little oil in there too. So I'll actually start with a little oil. I have some, just some white potatoes that I cooked off. Right. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on there. I never deem to be a chef. Thank you very much. It's you. A little salt and pepper. It's kind of, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Of course, we already have these done there, but I want right. you guys to see how I made them so you can make them yourself. Oh, yeah. you okay. You know, so you have the we white potatoes, watch. kind of smash them up. You don't want them to be too mush mush, want them kind of chunky a little bit. Right. Wasabi dressing. Lord, all that. This right here is good. Where can I buy it? this? I bought this Sample. at the no. farmer's market. All right. I need to add that to my collection. And this is some ginger powder. Not too much of that. Right. And a little almond milk. Just a little bit. And we're going to do just going to kind of mix that up. And you mm -hmm. just kind of play with your ratios. Right. Okay. You know, you're making a patty. You want it to have a little body, so... You want to make sure we don't put too much liquid. Yeah. Gotcha. Exactly. So we smash them, we smash them, and we smash them. <laughs> <laughs> so I enjoyed y'all today. It's been fun. We enjoyed you too. Now it's time for you guys to eat a little something. Oh, and I can't wait. So See, that's man. pretty much the consistency you want. That hot pan, right? That's. How long will you have to let these cook? I mean, potato, probably a couple minutes on each side. Probably not even that long. I'm just go in with the cakes. Mm. A more oil. And the thing about it, you don't want to touch them because you want, want them to stay together. So right. you don't want to play with them too much. So where did you come up with the recipe? Out of my brain, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just be thinking of all type of stuff. So a lot of right. times when I go out to a restaurant, right. I'll remember something. It can just be an ingredient like right. wasabi mm -hmm. or ginger or right. minced onions or minced garlic or something. And I'll incorporate it into, I'll brilliantly slide it into something. Right. Mm -hmm. It can be one ingredient, like wasabi. Right. right. You know? You would never think to put that. I know I would. The mashed potatoes. Potato. Potato. And, and then potato. I'm kind of keeping the whole theme of the the Asian thing we have going here. Right. I want to make sure that the influences of Asia is in every part of the dish. Right. You know, from the sauce to the shrimp we had earlier to the steak. Now, most people would just leave the potato, mm -hmm. just potato. Right. But sneaking a little wasabi dressing in there, it, it gives it a little kick. Um, kick and also 
it joined to party also. Yeah. You know? Good. You never had Brussels sausage head, right? Nope, never had them. I heard they taste mm -hmm. like cabbage. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. I don't mean a cabbage. Huh? You mean a cabbage? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Put a little lime juice on these vegetables. I'm like so mesmerized. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm so mesmerized. I appreciate it. Well, just kind of, you know, flip those around a little bit. Yeah. Because we're about to plate up. And we're to come. Flip that last cake over. Bam! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Mm. <sighs> and I go ahead and clear up this. Steak, steak, the I, steak, the whole steak, idea steak, when you steak, when you steak, when steak, you're steak. cutting this flank steak right. is to cut it against the grain. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Mm. We had a plant steak. Right. You see the grains are going a certain way. Mm -hmm. So you wanna cut. You see the grains are going that way. Right. Mm -hmm. Now we want to cut on those grains. We'll right. have like long scribbly, long strips of steak, like, yeah. shred. So you wanna cut against the grain. Ah. So Learn something new. So if the grains going that way, mm -hmm. you wanna cut this way. Okay. You see the grains going that way? Right. So what'll happen if I cut it that way? It's gonna be long. Exactly. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna take these out. But I guarantee <laughs> the next time I make one. I hope it don't taste like a tire. It's gonna be equivalent to. Not this. Oh man. So there we go. You're gonna go against the grain with that steak. Mm. Oh. I mean. Mm mm mm. Mm. So mm. It's beautiful. We got a little drool on the side. Ah, I'll be quiet. Mm. <laughs> As she should have at this point. Yeah. Patiently waiting. Still got a little red in there. It yeah, looks right. so good. So. Taste right, the so cake. Put plate up. Put cake here. Take the cake here. Mm. Here, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is your anticipation is building up. Yes, sir. So what we'll do, we'll take that and we'll just go with the beef on there. Mm. With the beef. It's mm. kind of like giving it a little character, building yeah. it up. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. I don't know how people don't eat beef. Do you see that? Yeah. I don't know why either. This is beautiful. I'm going to do that. But then we want to take some of the vegetables and just kind of... Well, actually, we'll go with a little sauce right now. Ooh. <laughs> mm. A little sauce. It's a teriyaki <laughs> chili sauce Ooh. we made earlier. Mm. You know? And we'll do some vegetables like so look around it. Look at those. Mm. Look at yeah. Of course we'll fill the holes with more sauce, you know that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know it's about to go down. Oh yeah. Toss go. and burn, baby. Toss and burn. Toss and burn, baby. Mm. There we go. Fill the hole up. Fill the hole up there. You know what? I think y'all deserve some more beef. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we just uh. go crazy with the sauce now. I mean, mm. just go crazy with it. Mm. Sometimes crazy is a good thing. <laughs> yes, I agree. Uh. <laughs> I am. Don't worry about what I got going on with my feet. <laughs> like a little kid. Oh, look at that. There we go. Don't be afraid. And I got some, I have garnish. Right. All right. Little, some um, pea sprouts. What are those? Just pea sprouts. Actually, we don't use pea sprouts. We use some black and white sesame seeds. How about that? I knew we uh -huh. had black sesame seeds. Yeah, me either. Black and white sesame seeds. Ying yang. I'm gonna clean this one up. Yeah, baby. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Cilantro leaves. Right. Fresh cilantro leaves. Oh, look on at that. Top. And I think y'all need some forks to eat, right? Yeah, I was getting my ass. <laughs> I mean, Where I could my use my fork? hand, but you know. <laughs> Asian marinated um, plant steak with roasted vegetables and Brussels sprouts with a wasabi mashed potato. Looks delicious. Can I have some forks Fork, here? fork, 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 fork. Thank you. Dig in. And once again, Fernandez, thank you for letting me come into your oh, kitchen no today. Problem. No problem. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you out there for, to Zoom, for tuning in today. Oh. I'm Chef Corey. Mm. As you can hear, they're enjoying the food. Oh Is my God, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Chef Corey. And oh. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Toss and burn. Mm. Flavor is so rich. Yes, it's so good.